morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are. This is Lee, and I want to talk today about the science of stuttering and the science of our methods. I am the bearer of good news. The science of stuttering does not support the long-held dogma that stuttering and semi-muteness are incurable or need to be accepted. In point of fact, science supports the conclusion that stuttering and muteness can be converted into enjoyable fluency. Throughout history, there has been a reluctance to accept new data. No one better capsulized this than Dr. John Bernal, a world-renowned Irish scientist, 1901 to 1971, who in one of his addresses noted the historical unwillingness of the scientific community to accept new ideas. His poignant remarks were later dubbed Bernal's Ladder, which became the most famous explanation of the reception so often accorded new ideas by scientists. Bernal's latter said that scientists react to new ideas thusly. First, they say, it's not true. After a while, they say, it may be true, but it's not important. Then they say, it may be important, but it's not original. And finally, when they can deny it no longer, they say, well, it may be original, but it's what I always thought. With the foregoing in mind, let's address the question. Does science support the dogma that holds that stuttering and muteness are incurable and or that they must be accepted? In the past six years alone, we have done massive research studies, including over 6,000 individual sessions with PWS, over 1,500 videos of those sessions, thousands of probative emails with PWS, a series of books I've written, the latest being 733 pages, How to Stop Stuttering and Love Speaking, a video course with dozens of video lessons, lots of forums and blogs on the topic, 80 meetings of a speech club for PWS, as well as countless group speech practice sessions. Our team and students include speech language pathologists, medical doctors, PhDs in psychology and other related fields, university professors, school teachers, and most importantly, people who stop stuttering, PWSS. Our team continues in-depth research of stuttering cases seven days a week. Some of our probative and encouraging findings and observations follow. The problem, there is a worldwide medical crisis regarding stuttering. And its first cousin, severe speech anxiety, which causes many to be silent in many situations. Many are sufficiently severe to border on suicide. How many speech sufferers are there? An estimated 70 million stutter worldwide, and likely hundreds of millions more are semi-mutes who go through their lives being silent in many situations to avoid perceived speech risks. Stutterers and semi-mutes are hereinafter referred to jointly as PWS or simply as speech sufferers. What is the long-held erroneous dogma about stuttering? It is that stuttering and its cousin muteness are incurable and must be accepted. The scientific fact is that there is no meaningful body of evidence to support incurability and or the need to accept it. And in the past decade, a mountain of scientific and contrary evidence has emerged to prove that stuttering and semi-muteness 
can be and should be altered and replaced by loving to speak. Before we examine the scientific evidence, let us consider the word science. Often said to be the wisest philosopher in recorded history, the Greek Socrates taught us to begin all discussions by defining our key terms. Most laymen mistakenly think of science as something that comes from academia, especially those related to the sciences, chemistry, physics, biology, botany, etc. That is the wrong definition of science. The word science is actually defined as, quote, the intellectual and practical study of the systematic structure and behavior of whatever is being studied, unquote. In simple English, science means systematic study of a subject. Neither medical degrees nor academic credentials are necessarily required. Experts are created by systematic study. The more one studies, the more expert he or she becomes in that field. Rational interrogation and convincing evidence are the sine qua non or prerequisites of scientific conclusions. Scientific findings are created by examination and experimentation. Science is trial and error. Science is learned by experimenting. Experts and science are the product of systematically studying things. What science is advanced to support the widely preached dogma of incurability and or acceptance? Virtually none. Only pockets of individual speech-language pathologists, psychologists, academics, and others trained in some areas related to speech, here and after speech professionals, have provided therapy in private sessions or in clinics, which in nearly all cases has not enabled the PWS to stop stuttering. As a result, these speech professionals conclude uniformly Stuttering is incurable and must be accepted. Really? As we have learned from communicating with over 1,000 PWS, the huge flaw of these studies or data is that over 90% of the speech professionals never stuttered. And the remaining 10% still stutter. These people can never understand stuttering much less help others beat it. Would you take golf lessons from someone who had never been on a golf course or who shot twice par? If 1,000 speech professionals who never stuttered or still do treat 10 PWS each and fail to help any of them stop stuttering, they record 10,000 failed cases. 1,000 Speech professionals times 10 cases each, 10,000 cases. But those cases prove only that those who cannot understand the problem cannot help solve it. As a result, the existing body of evidence to support stuttering's incurability and acceptance can and should be discarded. Conversely, what is the contrary science? As noted at the opening of this commentary, our mano a mano or one-on-one -on -one sessions with PWS, our videos, our thousands of emails, et cetera, have provided massive tangible evidence to support our conclusions and more evidence is added every single day. The results of these studies and research is supported by massive evidence, largely uniform, including the following as examples. We have created the Stutterer Speech Hall of Fame, where we posted almost 200 mind training based success stories, 
in which ex-stutterers explain stuttering and how they beat it, and more are added almost weekly. Two, those, those success stories done since the middle of 2018, many of them include videos of the person who stopped stuttering. Not everyone will allow us to include their videos. Thirdly, the creation of a definitive website offering lots of services and programs to help PWS, including hundreds of videos explaining our methods and giving valuable tips to PWS. For the creation of a speech club for stutterers only and ex-stutterers called Speech Anxiety Masters or SAM, which has already met 80 times typically attended by dozens of PWS from around the world. Plus five, we have lots of blogs and forums and tons of weekly email updates with the latest suggestions to help PWS. Six, we've created the world's first and only community of X starters and those fast becoming same. And last, we recently formed a 501c3 IRS approved charity to help PWS, which will launch next year. And it will be the world's first and only community of ex stutterers and those fast becoming sane. So what's the conclusion? The only significant science that exists on stuttering has been provided, no surprise, by a community of ex stutterers and it demonstrates that nearly all PWS can stop stuttering. The millions of PWS, many of whom are suicidal, need help now. This is a crisis that needs immediate attention. Let's provide it as fast as humanly possible. I implore you to join us now. You can reach me through the website of Speech Anxiety Cures. I'll leave you with our mantra. If you can say one word anywhere, anytime, you can say any word anywhere, anytime. Have a great day. Uh -huh.